Hey there again guys, and welcome back to another episode of Rampage Night. Right, let's get straight back into this. We've started off quite well on this run actually. We have one of the best items in the entire game, the Swordmaster's Belt, which now means that the speed of a weapon no longer affects us. So we can have a very large weapon and still do a lot of damage. And I want to kind of get away from everyone a minute so I can do so I can use this book. Right. Didn't curse everyone unfortunately. But it should kind of be enough. Right. He's yeah, I was going to say you should be dead. And this guy's going to be dead, and now he is. There we are. Right, let's break this. Oh, it gave us a health potion, which is very, very much appreciated. We're going to do this to blow up that. Oh, there's a... Cool. And is there anything over here? Nope. Let's go up. So we have another shop. Which is interesting, because honestly, usually you don't get a shop this early on. Hmm. Right, so we've heals on fire, burn the ground around you, immunity to fire, that's very useful. You heal 20 HP in every new room if you have a disease, okay. Or have double jump. Now, double jump is extremely useful, it's one of the most useful things in the game, so is heals on fire. However, I feel like if we have double jump, we can avoid most of the fire. And it also makes jumping over the chasms that are going to appear very soon extremely easy to cope with. Uh, let's do this. Right. And you're going to die. And then you're going to die. For those of you wondering by the way, I am on normal difficulty. I'm also using... Oh, here's a chasm I was just on about. I am using the Barbarian class, and the reason for that is because, as I said in one of the earlier episodes... Oh, crap. I didn't actually mean to do that. That was my own fault. Doesn't particularly matter. Oh, well. As I said in one of the earlier episodes, I believe it was actually last episode, the, the format would continue... In such a way that I would roll a dice from now on, which is exactly what I did. I rolled a dice. There are six characters in the game currently. Six classes. Arcane Orb is not as good as the book from the cabin. Okay, that did nothing. Or oh, that seemingly did nothing. Okay, I need to heal, I need to heal. Okay, let's... Right. And then, yes. Got him. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We've got... We, we have everything sorted. It's not like we almost died there at all. I promise. We didn't um, almost die there. It didn't happen. Okay? If someone tries to sit, tell me that that just happened, it didn't happen. I promise. But yeah, there are six characters in the game, as I was, as I was saying. And... That makes it really, really nice to use a uh, dice. Right, you need to die, like, now. Got him. Right. That makes it really nice to use a dice because you can basically roll a normal d6 and it will give you... Obviously a 1 to 6, which, starting from top to bottom, is how I've listed the characters. And it kind of makes it a nice way of doing it. It adds a, another random aspect into it. You kind of don't know what character you're going to play as. Oh, okay. Let's break this first. Oh, cool, I cursed him. 
I didn't even think you could curse him, but apparently you can. Right. Shit, I didn't want to do that. Um, okay, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Right, I think I want to use this and curse him. Come on, dash at me, you bastard. Right, removes random curse. There we go. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We killed him, we killed him. We almost died in the process. Right, mechanical arms, hold attack button to swing. You can't dash anymore. I'm not going to take those. They're all right. I prefer the dash. That's purely like my own kind of thing. Right, you and you, you all, you all just need to die, okay? That's just, that's just how it's going to happen. You just all need to die. Is there anything over here? No. Oh, there's chairs. We need to break said chairs. Because there's money in said chairs. Okay. That is the dark castle complete. And then we have a one more zone to go through before the end of the video. And then I believe next video is the first boss. Who I would say is the... That was so clo That was so close to being dumb. Right. Right. Um. And then chuck one of these. Yay. See, I can break barrels without killing myself, I promise. Right. Holy water, um, unfortunately for you. Actually, I'm going to drink it because we're kind of low on health. So I'm going to take it. Damn it, kind of didn't want that to happen. There we go, he's dead, he's, he's dead, it's fine, it's fine. Th this axe, this hammer, by the way, is so good. It's one of the best items in the game. And the fact we have the Swordsmaster's belt means we can swing it fast as well. So it does a lot of damage. Oh, there's, n there's nothing here. Cool. This will be a nice, easy room to get done. Right. Right, so we get a Poisonous Saber. So let me just show you what the stats are on the sword and the thing. So the Shield Breaker, every blow crushes shields and stun on critical hits. It always has 15 damage. The Poisonous Saber is just an upgrade of the Poisonous Blade, whatever the hell it's called. Ooh, Jumping Potion. Do we want to take that? No, we don't, because we already have Double Jump. What would be the point? Scroll of Escape would be nice. Um, we might as well get magic damage up. Bean of Unnatural Growth is amazing. It's so good. It's better if you can get it early on, but for now it's alright. Ooh, Turtle Shell. Blocks all hits. Oh yes, the Barbarian cannot wear armor. I forgot. That is the kind of issue with being a Barbarian. There's nothing over here. What the hell? Oh well. Doesn't matter. Right, there we go. And then we can just leave. Unfortunately, we can't wear armor, which is kind of a shame, but I don't care. Right, he needs to die, like, now. His bombs just kill his ally. It's just like, okay. And I got hit by one of those as well. Yikes. Right, uh, and these two... I would have expected those to... Okay. We really, really need a health potion here. If we don't get a health potion, then we might have issues. Right. Yep, okay. So we got... We, we died. Which is fine, because... I can't... I can't... Yeah, I was, I was stuck on the damn ball.
right? And then we get to kill the chef, which is fine and dandy. This guy's going to be a little bit of a problem. Not too much, though. We can swing fast enough that if we get critical on him, we actually kill him, like, rather quickly. Cool. And that. Uh, kind of don't want to... That was a waste. That was a waste. There we are. Uh, do we want to drink from the keg? Not particularly. Cleaver's actually pretty terrible. So we want to keep going. We might as well pick this up because we just wasted all of our axes. It's good to have a throwing weapon. Okay, I'm not too concerned about this one, actually. Okay. Okay. And then... We kill this bat rather easily, and we get a vitality up from that. Which means our vitality is getting out of control. I'm not going to go after those paintings, because even if I destroy them, the things are just going to fall into the chasm anyways. Um, okay, there's a chest. And what did we get from said chest? We got a crap ton of money, and some rum, which... Eh, it's not particularly, not particularly that great. All right, let's keep going. Oh, we have an altar. Now the question is, do we want to try it? Some altars are good, some altars are bad. I haven't learned which altars do what. You can tell. Um, there's, I believe there's a statue that only always gives you bad things. There's a statue that always gives you good things, and there's a statue that gives you a random thing. We might as well go for it. So we've got the Gift of Power. So we get a Can Tornado, which is amazing, but it's not worth it. We also get a Decoy. Uh, it's not It's not worth, like, taking... It's not worth getting rid of the book from the cabin, because we kill things so quickly with that. See? Just killed him, like, instantaneously. Oh, and you're going to die, like, now. And we get two vitality for that. Because of course we do. And I don't want the ass potion. Right, let's keep going. Smash that for money. Not that we've come across a shop anytime soon. Oh, these are new enemies. These are enemies I've never come across before. Um... Yeah, the bombardiers need new, like, AI, I think. Because their bombs just kill every everyone else but me. What the hell are these? Oh, are they, like, mobs? I meant to, like, smash them. Okay. We got next to nothing out of that chest. We got money. That's about it. Which I guess isn't necessarily a bad thing. Keep getting vitality and we keep getting health. So we're at full health. We're in a good spot, actually. And this might be the end of the map. It is. So there we go, then. Guys, I've been Phoenix Cypher. I've been your host. If you've enjoyed this Rampage Knights run so far, then make sure to hit the like button. If you are... Sorry, if you have not enjoyed it, then make sure to hit the dislike button. If you are new to the channel and want to see more Rampage Knights-ish stuff, then make sure to comment and subscribe. I've been Phoenix Cypher, guys. I've been host. Thank you for watching, and adios, mis... Pardon me. Adios, mis amigos.